Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create stunning text designs using section dividers in Divi. This is the final design we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and I'll show you step by step how I managed to achieve this. Okay, so right now I'm in my admin dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is to start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. Next, we're going to give this page a title and I'm just going to call this stunning text designs. Click on use the Divi Builder and then we're going to go straight to the Visual Builder. Right, so over here uh, we have three options. So we're just going to take the simple one. We're going to build this design from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Next, what we need to do is to go into our section settings and add our background colors. So I'm just going to highlight, uh, hover over this area here. Now we see this gear icon. So this is how we access the section settings. So First thing I'm going to do is to come over here to background and then we're going to click the second tab because we need to add a gradient color. So click the plus button and then I'm going to click on my first color here and this color is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm just going to drag the second slider down so we can have some RGBA values here. So I'm just going to highlight all this and then paste my color between the brackets. So if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. Right, so let's move on to the next step. So that's my first color. I'm going to click here for my second color. And again, this is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to uh, drag the slider down as I did with the first one and then paste my values between these brackets like that. Great. So now we have our color. Now let's adjust our width. So I'm going to come over here and just search for my width. And here we go. So currently it's set at hundred percent. So we need to change this to 80%. So I'm just going to add my 80% in here. And then we also need to adjust our section alignment and make it centered. So I'm just going to search for it here. So I'm going to search for a section and then here we go. Section alignment. We're going to center that. Now it's time to add our section dividers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of uh, my search query here. Click on design and then I'm going to come over here to dividers. So the divider style I'm going to choose is, let me just click this drop down so I can see which one it is. So I'm going to scroll down here and this is the one I'm going to go with. Select that. Next, we're going to give this a color. So I'm going to click this eyedropper tool and then I'm going to select my white. Next, we need to add our line height. So we're going to come over here to divider height and this is going to be 1.8 VW. But what you can also do here is to play around with this until you get the size that you desire. So just make sure that it's not too much. So, and again, this is also going to depend on your screen size. So you do need to play around with these sizes, but I'm just going to keep mine at 1.8 VW. And then the top divider horizontal repeat, I'm going to set this to 3X. So I'm just going to slide this slider until I get to 3X. And then finally, divider arrangement, you, you just need to set this to top of section content. Now it's time to add our bottom divider. So I'm going to click here on the second tab, choose my divider. As before, we're going to add our color. So this is going to be white. Our height is going to be 1.8 VW. And then over here, this is going to be set at 3X and then on top of section content. Now, as you can see, we don't have enough breathing space on the top and the bottom of this. So the next stage now is to add a custom margin and also padding. So I'm going to scroll down here to spacing and then over here on the margin, I'm going to add my custom margin, both the top and the bottom. So I'm going to click this chain icon because the value needs to be the same on both on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to add five VW and now we have enough breathing space, which is brilliant. Okay. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. Now it's time to go into the row settings. So again, I'm going to come over here and click this plus button to add my uh, column structure. So I'm going to add a single column and we're going to add a text module in that. Select it. Right. So the text that's going to go in here is just going to be kind of like a headline. So we're just going to call this our work and then we're going to go back and style this. So I'm, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save. Next, I'm going to go into my row settings and make some customizations there. So first of all, we need to go to custom width. So I'm going to come over here to design. And then I'm going to click on use custom width and I'm going to set this to 100% because uh, currently or by default, it's set at 80%. So I'm going to drag this all the way to 100%. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing because we need to add some custom padding here. So I'm going to click this chain icon because we're going to add a padding of zero to the top and the bottom. 
Now we can save and then we need to go back into our text module. So I'm going to click this gear icon and now I'm in my text module. Right. So the next thing we need to do now is to set our font types, our sizes and colors and so on. Right. So I'm going to come over here to the design tab, click here on text and we are going to set our font and our font type is going to be Oswald. I'm going to select that. Our font style is going to be all caps. And next, let's add our color. So I'm going to come over here to this eyedropper tool, paste my hexadecimal value. And uh, so if you want to use the same colors uh, or the same settings as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. Right now, it's time to add our text size. So here I'm going to add my size and this is going to be 10 VW. So as you can see, it's nice and big. Our line height is going to be set at 1 EM and the text orientation needs to be set to centered. Now we're going to add some custom margins and some custom paddings. So I'm going to scroll down here until I get um, spacing. Right. So let's start with our custom margin. So we need to add minus five VW to the top and four VW to the bottom. Next, we're going to come over here to our custom padding and I want to activ activate the chain because I'm going to add the same value both on the top and the bottom like that. Right, so let's save for now. And then the next stage now is to go back to our section settings, design, spacing, and I'm going to add my custom padding here as well. And this is going to be set at zero. So we're done with the design. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Okay, so let's move on to our text design number two. So I'm going to add a brand new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add my new section. This is going to be a regular one. And uh, I'm going to add my column structure here. So I'm going to add a single column. And we're also going to add a text module in here like that. I'm going to select it. And for now, I'm just going to add my text. And it's going to be similar to what we had before, which is just pretty, which is basically our work. Right. So next, let's come over here to our design tab. Click on text. And this time, we're going to set our font to Poppins. Select it. And then over here, we're going to make it um, ultra bold like that. And for our text font style, we're going to make it all caps. And then next, we're going to come over here to our text size. I'm going to set this to 8VW. So now it's nice and big. But again, as I mentioned, you can always adjust this to suit your um, screen space and also to suit your design. OK, so now that I've got this in place, the next stage now is to adjust my line height and my text orientation. So I'm going to set my orientation to centered. And then for the line height, I'm going to set this to 1 EM. Great. Next, we're going to come over here to sizing, I mean spacing. And then we're just going to adjust our custom uh, custom margin to zero. So I'm going to add my zero here because it's going to be applied both to the top and the bottom. OK, so um, as I'm looking at this, I may want to change this one more time because the size of this text is, is a bit too big. So I'm just going to bring it down to maybe seven. That's better. OK, so I'm going to set this to 7VW. But like I said, uh, take a look at your settings and just make sure that everything is suiting your design. Right. Finally, we're going to come over here and add our color to our text. So I'm just going to go with this and then I'm going to save. Right. So the next stage now is to go into my row settings. So I'm going to select that as we did before. We're going to come over here to our design sizing. We're going to make sure that this is set to use custom width change this unit to pixels, I mean to percentage from pixels. And then we're going to set this at 100%. And then for the padding, I'm going to add zero to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to come over here to spacing, activate my chain, add my value. Okay, so everything is all set now. Now it's time to go into the section settings. So I'm going to save this for now. And then I'm going to mouse over this area so I can get my icons for my section settings. So it's right here. I'm going to click here to go into my section settings. And then next, I am going to adjust my width. So I'm going to click here on design sizing. And then I'm going to change this from 100% to 70%. We're going to center this. Right. So let's go to our dividers. So I'm going to click here on dividers. So let's start off with the, with the top divider. So I'm going to click the uh, drop down on the divider style. And this is the option I'm going to go with. And then next on the color, I'm going to set this to white. And then my divider height is going to be set at 8VW. Right, so moving on for our divider horizontal repeat, I am going to set this at 150 pixels. Next, I'm going to click here on um, divider flip and flip this vertical. And then for my divider arrangement, I'm going to set this on top of section content. 
And now we can see this beautiful design that has appeared on our text. Okay, so next just add all the settings that we did to the top divider onto the bottom and this should be the final result that you should get. So pretty much that's our second design. So now I'm going to go ahead and save. Right, so now it's time to design number three. So let's just uh, speed up our time here by duplicating this whole section. So I'm going to click here on the duplicate section and then I'm going to update the section settings. So over here, I'm going to add a background color. So I'm going to click here on section settings, background, and add my solid color. I'm going to paste my value in here. Next, I'm going to go on my section dividers, click on design, dividers. And then this time, I'm going to choose something different. So I'm going to click this drop down, and I'm going to go with this one right here. For our divider height, I'm going to set this at 3 VW. And the horizontal repeat, I'm going to set this at 30. And then over here for our divider color, we're going to make sure that it matches the color for our background. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color. We're going to come over here to the bottom design, make our adjustments to our settings. Next, I'm going to add my color, I'm going to paste it in here. And then we're going to change our font color here to white. So I'm just going to save this for now. Click here on my module settings, design text and then I'm going to change this color to white. So for now I'm going to save and then I'm going to go back here into my section settings and make some adjustments to my dividers. So right now I don't see them so I'm just going to drag my slider here so that I can start seeing that design. Okay I'm going to come over here to my bottom one do the same and you have to be careful here that you don't add a bit too much. So there you go. And like I said, you can always come in here and play around with uh, the settings here until you're happy with what it looks like. So this is the final design. You can always go in and make further custom adjustments and play around with different colors, shapes, and so on. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and save. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please do leave your questions in the comments box below and I'll do my best to respond as soon as possible. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.